a traditionally black role. It just will never happen. Yet any white role is open to open. any black white role. people or maybe not JFK, anything. but basically everything else. This new uh, show, this big hit show, Wednesday, which uh, oh, of right, course yeah. Wednesday Adams, uh, they're Hispanic. The Adams family, which people are still not happy with, is Hispanic. They're like, that's too white. What? They go, why are all the ba bad guys black? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw that, too. Hey, morons who went to our bullshit, shitty public schools, look up gothic. Uh -huh. Like, look up the origin of that culture. Yeah. It's European. It's fucking German. It's yeah. Austrian. It's not African by any means. Or Hispanic. Or Hispanic. It could. Although Gomez is Gomez, like Louis J. Gomez. Mm -hmm. He's a Spanish gentleman. Uh, why Gomez Adams? Was he at all any? And then Raul Julia, who played him in the movie. Isn't Raul Julia like a Spanish? Wasn't he a Hispanic guy? Yeah. What? What is the? Now I'm. Now I'm. Worried. I'm wondering what. Maybe what, Spain had some sort of gothic. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. But. It definitely was not black. It wasn't black. And it wasn't just so blatantly Hispanic, you know. Um, That's the new whites. It's like the it's like Diet he Coke. spoke French, though, a lot. Uh, Carami. He would always, you know, he was speaking French to a uh, more, not more. You're talking about the original Adams family? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he would speak French to her. Uh, I think what uh, America used to do this with with Asians. Now they're doing it with Hispanics, and it is white light, L I T E. So ah yes, I want to get the diversity dollar, but I want to appeal to seventy percent of the population. So balancing act there, I go Hispanic. I get my diversity yeah. points, and <clears throat> any fucking white person with dark hair can go. That's kind of me. Yeah, yeah. It's a win win. Oh, I'll tell you, watching that Peacock Network last night with the commercials, because I didn't pay the premium price, so they put in like one minute of commercials every half hour or something like that. Not too bad, but uh, every fucking commercial. Every if commercial. you think regular TV commercials bad, this is like strictly NBC. So their fucking commercials on there... Black Santa Claus getting, you know, a cookie or something like that. And don't even and get me started on family fucking Black Santa. That I can't even tell you what this was. This family's pulling up next to a semi truck. And of course, the 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 dr guy driving the semi is a black gentleman. Yeah. Southern fucking good old boy. A and the family in there, it was like a white dude. I didn't even see the wife. The kids a mishmash of Asian and black. And it's, <laughs> I couldn't even tell what the f was going on there. It was nuts. They still can't get past the point, though, where they will cast a real black woman. Like, they got black yes. women, and they're kind of light. They got curled, like, hair. They look like Brittany Venti. And, yes. and, and then, you know, the Cosby white show. dude. Right. Cosby you know Show. They won't get... A, a rotund, big ass black. Uh huh. You ain't gonna. I, we going to the woods to go camping. Mm -hmm. You know why? Leslie Jones is. Is they don't show up. They don't look at the like Craigslist or like commercial. <laughs> Geico. You're, wow, commercial. you're going that far that they're oh, not yeah. even auditioning. They cannot find them. They could like wow. go into the hood and be like, "Hi, I'm from Geico. Would you show up to a commercial?" All right. How much you pay? I it doesn't pay shit, by the way. I made commercials. It was yeah, like hundred yeah. bucks a day. Yeah. And they'd be like, how much? Hundred bucks? Fuck that. But even if they said a thousand bucks, they'd be like, all right, I'll be there. What time? Three o'clock, uh, 132nd Street and <laughs> yeah, four. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. where's uh, Shaniqua? I was sleeping. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot about that whole thing. I'm busy. I didn't want to do it anyway. They would love to get some Alec Weck piece of coal in there to be the. Oh yeah, they just don't show up. Just some, cause that I think that would be shocking. To this is so racist, people, and so true. Oh, it's so true. Like facts again. No wonder AI gets in shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's talk to uh, Scott from Connecticut. Uh, Scott, what's up? Yellow. Yellow. Scott or Matt? Uh, Matt, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I just wonder if you guys saw the commercial 
I think it's Subaru, where they're like two, two white, or there's a white dude and a black dude, and they end up like stealing a sheep, and they bring it home, and then it shows them walking on the beach with it. I don't know what the hell Subaru was thinking. Uh, we're, we're watching it now. Let's, uh, okay, let's so we're in the field. <clears throat> there's a sheep there. Okay. They may try to sell it. They accidentally stole it, it seems. <laughs> they know what they're doing. <laughs> he drinks from the toilet. They're friends. Life gets bigger when you break from the herd. The Volkswagen what? Tiguan. Wow, that is, that is a weird... Go- First of all, they're gay. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, Black dude and the white guy are gay. Okay. Definitely. And then uh, break from the herd... So you got all these sheep. That's saying be a f- Yeah, be a yeah. F- yeah, yeah. Again, be this f- is a white woman. All so this. They're like, I want to see like a gay interracial couple doing something kooky, like uh, stealing a sheep and then they wash it and they're all friends. Uh, and it's cool and there's no crime. And, and God knows they're fucking it. <laughs> well, we all know that. I think I think that's the <laughs> that is the one thing that really does pop in your head. They must be fucking that sheep. <laughs> Oh, God knows they're fucking it. Gays. Uh, Chris, what's up, man? Hey, just an FYI. Uh, Gomez Adams, in a December 1964 episode of The Adams Family, was said to be of Castilian extraction and Spanish ancestry. Oh, okay. That makes oh, that, yeah. sense, then. So. But the name Adams doesn't sound very Spanish. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I guess the Spanish. I, I agree. Just the Spaniards on that information. Figured you'd want it. I right. guess the Thank Spaniards you. had Gothic architecture. Yeah, I would think gargoyles. What is Gothic architecture? Uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like gargoyles. Like, what are the dates and what are the locations? A lot of um, stonework and yeah, and, it's and like what inspired steeples. Disneyland and stuff. I don't yeah, know. yeah, Gothic. I just don't care. Mm. That's what Ye's thing, too, is with the Jews. He's like, he goes, I don't care about myself. Why would I give a shit about the Jews? Yeah, yeah. Why is uh, why does he then, on, on the other hand, he'll say something like, no, I love everyone. I love the Jews. Like, it's such a weird dichotomy. It's, it's think of, like, art before Trump, <clears throat> when yeah. you could just say weird shit. <laughs> so he's just saying weird shit. Yeah. Mm. It's just like, like, well, was mission this, accomplished. <laughs> there was this sort of crew in New York when we first moved here from Montreal in the late 90s. They were called Iraq. And to rack is to steal clothes. Oh, okay. It's Iraq, I R A K. And there's this dude, Dash Snow, who's dead now. He OD'd. And he reminded me a lot of, of Ye. And they knew Iraq sounds like Iraq, obviously. Yeah. So he'd have like a tattoo of Saddam Hussein on his arm. Because of Iraq. Because of Iraq. And I was like, so you, you got Saddam Hussein. What do you think of the embargoes? Are they effective? And he goes, who are the embargoes? Uh, who are the embargoes? <laughs> Another rival yeah, gang. Yeah, a fucking gang. We'll kick a their rival, ass. Yeah, tell 